Reflections and reactions continue to pour into the newsroom over the death of Joe Lieberman. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Brent Harden. And I'm Sarah Sanchez. The news of Lieberman's death broke last night. He died due to complications from a recent fall, according to his family. Lieberman's career in office was an impressive one. He was Connecticut's Democratic senator for 24 years. Before heading to Washington, Lieberman was a Connecticut state senator for 10 years and spent six years as Connecticut's attorney general. He also joined Al Gore's presidential ticket as a candidate for vice president back in 2000. Fox 61's Bridget Bjorlo joins us in studio tonight with more on how Connecticut leaders are remembering the man who dedicated his life to public service. Bridget. Brent, Sarah, no matter who you talk to, the description of Joe Lieberman remains the same. A political trailblazer and an independent thinker, so much so that he helped start the No Labels Party to support those in Washington committed to bipartisan work. And just weeks before his death, he was back here in the, his home state of Connecticut speaking at Quinnipiac University about why leaders should put people over party. Really heartbroken. Joe was such a good friend but a colleague as well. Joe Lieberman, a political powerhouse best known for delivering solutions for the people of Connecticut. A family man who dedicated four decades of his life to serving the Constitution state, first as state senator, then as state attorney general, and for the last 24 years of his political career, United States senator. We grew up in New Haven politics. He was someone who was such an advocate for people, really such a gifted individual individual and took those values of his own family life and, uh, you know, projected them uh, for the state of Connecticut, for the nation as well. Senator Richard Blumenthal stood shoulder to shoulder with Lieberman in the Senate and remembers him as a fierce leader, unafraid to go to battle for the people and issues that mattered most. Most strikingly about Joe Lieberman is that he was a fighter. He stood up for everyday Americans and people of Connecticut leaving a legacy of working and fighting for environmental values, civil rights and liberties, consumers and other great causes of our time. And while he dug in his heels from time to time, he also had a soft side. And I met him when I was a teenager. He was incredibly warm and kind and welcoming to me and um, that's when it started for me. Supporting those who would follow in his path. William Tong recalls Lieberman congratulating him in 2019 shortly after he became Connecticut's chief legal officer. He said um, how very proud he was that 30 years later that I uh, was sitting in the same office that he had occupied as attorney general. Lieberman broke barriers as the first Jewish vice presidential nominee for a major party in 2000 while also breaking party lines, most notably through his support of the U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003. He lost the Democratic primary in 2006 but still won re-election to the Senate as an independent. Governor Ned Lamont remembers that time well. He and I met under uh, different circumstances uh, during a pretty uh, frisky political debate about the war in Iraq. That said, at the end of that campaign, we shook hands and we've been friends ever since. And that says a lot about Joe Lieberman. Those very friendships cementing his legacy in American politics, especially the bonds he built with whom he disagreed. Lieberman eulogized his good friend and Republican John McCain, who came close to making Connecticut Senator his running mate in a unity ticket in 2008's presidential election. An idea that lives on through Lieberman's No Labels Party, a push toward bipartisanship in an ever polarized Washington. Beautiful, beautiful man, gifted, and what I just say is uh, one of the giants in the United States Senate who knew why they went to the Congress and what they needed to do on behalf of the people of their state but of their country. A lasting legacy indeed, and, and until his dying day, Lieberman was pushing for compromise over division. Just last week, he told Bloomberg News, quote, this is the moment for a bipartisan unity ticket. He believed the majority of Americans really wanted and deserved an alternative to Donald Trump and Joe Biden in November. Brent, Sarah. And Bridget, thinking and uh, speaking of pushing yeah. for unity, people might forget that just a few years ago, Trump was going to appoint him to 
a top job. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, so back in 2017, uh, James Comey was fired as FBI director, so there was a vacancy. Of President Trump had a short list, and on that short list, really topping it for a time was Joe Lieberman, even though he spent most of his career as a Democrat. So mm. it spoke to his ability to build relationships, build respect with evil, even people who opposed him politically. So really interesting. It speaks to his legacy. It Certainly. really does. Mm. All right, Richard, thank you. Thank you.